Adventist University. Here are a contest between Champion College University and Southwestern Adventist University Knights. If you'll please stand for prayer, followed by the national anthem. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for allowing us to play this game this evening. Help us to uh, represent you in all that we do and say, Lord. Uh, ask that you keep the players safe and the officials safe as well. And just thank you for your many blessings in each one of our lives. In Jesus' sake, amen. Oh, Moose has got some moves, doesn't he? Welcome back, everybody. Chris Sheeman here with you. Game number two of our doubleheader between Champion Christian and your Southwestern Adventist Knights coming in at five and nine, four and five at home, one and three in the Southwest region. Knights coming off a 15-point defeat at Arlington. Jason Garcia with a season-high 27 points on 11 of 19 shooting. That game was played on Tuesday, by the way. Garcia also had eight boards and four steals in the loss. So a uh, quick trip home for the Knights before they go back on the road next week for a Tuesday-Thursday showdown in Houston on Tuesday against College of Biblical Studies and then over to Arkansas for a rematch between these Knights and Tigers one week from tonight. Knights back at home. 
after having their three-game win streak snapped. That started with that home win against Randall back in January. So Knights eager to get back in the win column. Kimunga getting the start today with uh, Wilkins out as the Knights control the opening tip. Orlando Gooden's been real good. He had just seven points on Tuesday. He was injured, but uh, good to see him back out there. Not the same for uh, Dom Wilkins, though, unfortunately. Mo Musa's been the hot hand. He airballs his first one here tonight, though, so Knights come up empty, but not used to seeing Mo miss many of them. He scored over 20 points in every game he's played since joining the Knights. Also had eight steals in his first three games. Here's A.J. Williams into the forecourt for champion Christian. Williams goes opposite the screen. Bowman with the tip pass to Clark, and he throws it away. So both teams empty on their opening possessions. As, uh, these two teams were supposed to meet first in uh, Arkansas, and all that weather that came through during that, uh, what was it, like a two-week stretch in January? Force the postponement, so these two teams going to rematch a week from today in Hot Springs. Nice little cut by Viadex, couldn't get the layup. Knights 0 of 2. Clark near side, down low, the layup is good by Brooks. So champion strikes first. Knights have been shooting the ball well here at home. 41% field goals, 32% from three, compared to just 23% from three on the road. They're nine percentage points better overall shooting the basketball at home. And about the same from three. 0 of two at the start, though. Kimunga, tough angle, rebound by Clark. Here is Williams popping from deep. Off the back rim, and Gooden collects the rebound. Orlando Gooden hesitates, attacks. Lusa extra pass to Viadex up top, back to Mo. Lusa attacks, ball swung over to Garcia for three, and that's over the backboard out of bounds. So Knights cold at the start, that's not a good sign. We've talked about it before when the Knights are uh, feeling good, it's, uh, Obviously, much more winnable situation, but came out of the month of January in their best offensive stretch of the year, but they've given up back-to-back -back field goals to uh, Noah Brooks, and Champion leads it by four. Musa surveys, skies it for Gooden on the near side of your screen. Gooden around one defender. Back out to Mo for three, in and out. Tipped rebound, Clark kept it alive. Now Williams for champion, had it stripped by Gooden. Nice defense by Orlando. Garcia into the forecourt. Oh, Garcia had Gooden, didn't see him in the corner, right next to him, and turns it over instead. And Clark gets right to the bucket. So without Wilkins tonight, the interior defense lacking a little bit. We saw a lot of Levi Rogers against Arlington on Tuesday. We'll see if the big guy doesn't come in here pretty quickly as the Knights are ice cold with uh, Viadex missing the finger roll. Deep look for champion. The bank shot is good. It's 9-0 Tigers. Tyler Woldridge got to talk about it. Three minutes in, and it's all champion at the start of this one. We'll take time as well. So after that uh, quick road trip next week, it'll be a three-game homestand. Everything's Tuesday, Thursday through the rest of the regular season for the Knights, who we'll have three more home games after today. First or second foul on Champion on the reach. 
Knights looking to get on the board here, falling behind quickly by nine. Chris Shivet back here with you from the home studio in downtown Cleveland. Hopefully all are doing good. Nice to be with you again. Orlando Gooden for three, that's off. Rebound by Brooks. Knights can't buy one right now. Williams out deep. Knights ladies put on a terrific performance, ended up going down to champion, but it was a great effort by the ladies tonight. Knights men aren't playing bad, they just can't get a shot to fall right now. Garcia swings it out, pass tipped by Williams, it'll stay with the Knights. Knights during that win streak in January shot season high 42% from the field, 37% from three. Also I averaged 13 offensive rebounds a game during the three game win streak and the 76.7 points per ball game, best of any stretch this year. Extra pass to Viadex, corner three, no good. Knights are still 0-4 and Champion will get it back up by 11. Can't ask for a better start than this if you're the Tigers. Come on the road, first of a, I believe it's a back-to-back -back for champion. Clark Williams and Bowman are kind of playing hot potato with it right now against this uh, Knights zone. Clark attacks, swings it out. Bowman had his shot blocked, but it comes right to Brooks. Brooks, I think he had his shot blocked too, but it went in because that's the start that Noah Brooks is having today. 13 zip. Nice guy to get to the rim, try to make something happen here. Get an easy bucket, get some free throws, get, get anything. Just to see the ball go through the net. Garcia out to Good, and both teams in his zone. Good and attacks and front rimmed it. Oh boy, this is getting ugly quick. Out on the run, Clark got it to go. 15 nothing, champion. Looks like Tyler Wolverich is gonna make the sub here. Garcia on the near side. Good and top of the key, back to Jason. Garcia will attack. Flips it up off the back rim. Hall the rebound. Clark out to Williams. Oh, down low, they leave Brooks alone. How can you leave him alone? Tyler Woolridge has to burn another timeout. He's got no other choice. Knight's just in a funk right now. The football score going well against Southwestern Adventist right now. 17 zip. We'll be back. All right, back to it. Knights with a lot of work to do down 17 zip to champion Christian. Chris Schumann back here with you. Cold shooting, really the a biggest problem as Musa fouled on the pass. Don Wilkins is in the game. Uh, mentioned Tyler Woldridge said he uh, was shaken up, so not 100% sure if he was going to be able to give it a go, but he's out there out of the timeout. 13 foul on champion. They're going to give uh, Mo free throws. Looked like that was a pass, but 
We'll take what we can get right now. Mo Musa, 74% at the line this season, gets the first one, and the Knights are on the board. Musa averaging 23 a game, shooting 45% from the field, 44% from three. 5.3 rebounds as well from the guard with 2.7 steals. I mentioned eight in his first three games. Knight's got to figure out how to get some stops now. It's been Noah Brooks down low. He is out of the game right now. But right now, champion get whatever they want at the rim. Josh Walpole is in Malik Lorentz also in the game for champion. Here is good. Musa now Viadex. Mo to Garcia. And Garcia just forced that pass. Clark can't get it to go. Mo Musa had position and he got whacked. So the one thing going Southwestern at Venice way right now is the fouls. This champion up to 14 fouls. All trapped by the Tigers, no trouble for the Knights. Musa now far side of your screen, gets to the rim. Can't score over Laurent, left it short. Williams on the far side. Step back three, no good. Walpole right at the rim. Well, first it was bad shooting, and then champions starting to get whatever they want down low, and now Knights are getting outworked. 21 to two. Excited to see the Knights after that three game win streak. They fell behind big against Arlington and almost fought their way back on Tuesday, but you can't always depend on that. Wilkins is fouled, so. Dominic Wilkins, 65%. Free throw shooter, seven and a half points per ball game. 6.8 rebounds for the freshman. What an addition he's been for Tyler Waldridge. So three out of four at the line. That's it so far tonight for the Knights, trailing by 18. This is Clark on the near side. Clark crosses over, throws it down low. Uh, Laurent got kind of caught in the air, got it back. Garcia poked it away, and then Clark threw it off Garcia. So it's going to stay with Champion. Jason Garcia started his collegiate career with Southwestern and Venice. Played a season for Champion before transferring back to Keene. Williams has it top of the key. Seven and a half minutes in, it's all Tigers. Walpole up top, here's Clark on the left. And Clark fell down, nice defense there by Gooden. Just using his body. Sometimes the way the games are called, you think you can't make contacts without being whistled, but there's a prime example of good, tough defense there by Gooden. Can it lead to some offense now on this end? Here's Garcia getting it back from Good. Wilkins bounce pass to the cutter and just a lot of forced passes. A little take foul there by Garcia to break up the fast break opportunity. That's gonna be the first on the Knights. Kimunga gonna come back in. Gooden goes out. I think there's another sub, too, for Tyler Woldridge. We'll set the five here in a moment. Uh, Wilkins is still in. Musa in. Viadex back in. Garcia. Got an offensive foul called now. We've had a little bit of um, wonky internet, I guess is the way to put it, at the uh, gym. So if it freezes up like that, we'll get it back. 
That's just kind of lagging a little bit for some reason. Musa into the forecourt. Garcia half circle. Almost had his pocket picked by uh, Young, KJ Young in the game. And it's the Knights score down low. Clark surveys, Clark to the bucket. And it's just whatever they want at the rim. It's mostly been from the inside tonight for champion. Mo Musa tiptoe in the baseline and they're gonna call a blocking foul. It's gonna be 17 fouls on champion. So Knights thankfully already in the one and one. Mo Musa hit a couple free throws earlier. He's back at the line. They're going to bring uh, Brooks back in for Malik Laurent, who picked up three fouls in only a few minutes off the bench. Front end of the one and one is no good because, of course, not. That's the way it's been tonight for the Knights. If you're going to have a night like this, though, best to get it out of the way early. Eventually, you have to recover and play some defense, though. Young got to the rim for an and one now. As uh, this one is quickly getting out of hand. Second team foul, both on Jason Garcia tonight for the Knights thus far. Free throw no good, Wilkins the rebound. Musa turns on the Jets. Musa gets it back on the deflection, but Knights continuing to force these passes. Musa can't score. We need Mohammed to turn into Mo Buckets for us tonight. If the Knights are going to have any chance, they are struggling. AJ Williams swings it out. Williams gets it back, hesitates, attacks right to the rim. I mean, I might as well just put it on a repeat and go home. Champion gets to the rim and scores. Just play that over and over, and you've basically got your commentary for the first half. Just past the midway point, Musa attacks, blocked but fouled. Eighth team foul. This time it's a two-shotter for Mo. So I mentioned next week, Tuesday and Thursday on the road, then a three-game homestand to follow. Tuesday the 13th against Arlington, Thursday the 15th against Dallas Christian, and then Tuesday again, February 20th, College of Biblical Studies will be in town. That'll be our final broadcast of the year. Hard to believe. But we are already at that point. Our broadcast season began back in August with a men's soccer game. The Knights soccer program was an all-freshman team, and they took on Pensacola Christian and almost beat them, probably should have beaten them. And I said, hmm, this team's going to be different, and they were. They got to the national tournament for the first time in program history. Knights men's and women's soccer teams. In fact, the women's soccer team played in the national championship game. So lots of building blocks for this Knights athletic department under Tyler Woldridge here this year, and it's been fun to watch. Not right now, but we'll see how the rest of the night goes as Musa's back at the line. Nine team fouls already, so Mo Musa's got five points, all from the free throw line. Chance to make it six here. And he does. Six of seven, I believe, from the free throw line for Mo. Knights got to get some stops, though. Playing in a 
Young for three. That's what the Knights need to do. Force them into contested threes. Kimunga with the rebound out to Mo. Can't get the three. I believe the Knights have one field goal in 11 minutes. The champion settling for threes on the last couple of possessions. Knights got to capitalize, though. Kimunga, the cutter, yes. Alman's on the board. A.J. Williams surveys. Walpole, spinning, scooping, score. Tyler Woldridge, uh, third time out to try to get some interior defense going for this Southwestern Adventist Knights team. 8.31 to go here in this first half. We're going to go away. Welcome back, everybody. That's me, Chris Sheeman. Glad to be with you. Thanks for hanging out with me here on this Thursday night. Nights with the basketball. It's been uh, a rough night for Southwestern Adventist on both sides of the court. Came out cold. They are getting to the free throw line, but can't stop anybody in the paint. Gooden lays it up, and it's just not falling. A.J. Williams had to save it, but did to uh, Dylan Hopkins, who's in the game for this Tigers team. Young for three, no good. Wilkins has the rebound. Musa, yes, first field goal from Mo. He had his first six points from the free throw line. So Knight starting to even the game a little bit. Xavier Hall with the elbow jumper on the turnaround. It's going to be a uh, foul called on Hopkins. Ten team fouls on champion. Orlando Gooden, 69% free throw shooter. Gooden had just seven. He was hurt against Arlington. Good to see him back out there. But prior to that, Gooden was averaging 15.8 points per ball game in his last four games and shooting 50% in three of the last four games. Unfortunately, we talked about it during the women's game. Sometimes these stats that I find are just that. They're just stats. And they don't translate to the next night. And right now, that's what's happening uh, collectively for the Knights. Still plenty of time, though. Like I said, if you're going to get down big, get down big early. All the time in the world to come back in this one. Jason Garcia back out there. Brings it into the front court. Wilkins posted up. The flip and score, beautiful, by Dom Wilkins. And it's down to 14 as we go inside seven minutes to go here until halftime. Walpole back out to Hopkins. I'm surprised. I don't know if Brooks maybe got into foul trouble, but he was so hot. He's been out for a while for champion. Viadex gets it out to Garcia as the Knights get a stop. Here's Good. Garcia between the circles. Wilkins again posting up. This time not as much of a size advantage, but the flip and score nonetheless. 
Wilkins has come off the bench with five quick points and the lead is 12. So it was 18 earlier, 23 to five at one point. And once again, Walpole answers back at the rim. That's when Champion's been good tonight. They've started to settle for some threes and for the Tigers, getting back to basics. And also get an offensive foul called on the Knights. AJ Williams coming back in for Champion. Mo Musa back in for your Knights. Clark walks it up. AJ back to him. Young gets a screen. AJ Williams been settling for those long ones, but why not when they're going down? Lead back to 17 just like that. Musa putting the dance moves on again. Yes, for three. Mo Musa. He was stepping a little bit in the pregame introductions. Dancing on the court in live action. Moose has got 11. Ball was tipped. Clark recovers. The reverse no good. Moose is going to chase down the rebound. Moose fell down. And I think the Knights got a timeout call. So Moo, uh, Mo, <laughs> Moo, Mo Moose. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? Bo Musa saves the possession. Levi Rogers will come into the game when we come back. 5.02 left to go. It's a 14 point game. All right, Knights trying to hang around despite some uh, tough defense. Wilkins doing work down low. Trying to help the comeback here as uh, we go back to live action. Uh, Chris Sheeman with you. Here's Moo Musa. <laughs> oh, Levi Rogers I mentioned into the game. Kimunga out there. Viadex and Garcia, that's the five. Here's Mo on the left wing now. Putting the moves on, fouled on the three. So Moe's got 11, six of those from the charity stripe. So Moe, or I did it again. I shouldn't have joked about it because now it's in my head. So Mo gets the first of three. In and out on that second attempt for Musa. So two out of three from Mo Musa, who's got a baker's dozen now with 13. Clark driving, Clark over two defenders, Rogers with the rebound, so some size down there. Levi Rogers, who had nine points against Arlington on Tuesday in the game. Mo attacks, Mo gets it back, can't get the rim. Nice box out there by Young. Musa fell down, Young's pass was forced, deflected, 
Gooden comes away with it to Garcia. Garcia spinning, shooting, scoring. Got to get Jason going. That's his first bucket tonight. Just like that, it's a 10-point game. Knights get this down a few more ticks before the half. Oh, that's a travel. Absolutely. Josh Walpole with the travel. Near side, it's good, and Garcia has it top of the key. Back to good. Pass in the corner. Garcia, Gooden, and uh, Viadex playing hot potato with it. Musa putting the moves on. Can't score. Ball tipped. Damian Bowman back in the game with the rebound. 3.17 left to go here until halftime. As Hall with the step back. Viadex, it swung over to Garcia. Good and back to Garcia. Bank, no. So champion, maybe an opportunity to push it back out. Bowman finds space. So right back to 14 now. Got to respond here if you're the Knights. Started to get something going. Bad pass, but Garcia able to chase it down. Good and cross court. Viadex with the fake to the hoop. Yes, and the foul. Ephraim Viadex averaging 11.1 .1 points per ball game. Viadex is a good free throw shooter at 79%. Knights have been in the double bonus. Rodgers is out, Wilkins comes back in. Wilkins with five points off the bench for Tyler Woldridge. Three point opportunity incomplete. Here comes champion by 12. Williams to the cutter. Boy, threading the needles on some of these passes, champion getting them to go. And how about, that's just that working your opponent right there if you're uh, Jamal Clark. Took that rebound away and then put it back in for two more. Musa on the near side, Garcia, top of the key. Mo drives in, swings it out, Viadex. Steps inside the arc, can't get the jumper. A.J. Williams with the rebound. Williams attacks, Williams is fouled. Five team fouls on the Knights with a minute 30. AJ Williams, the long time champion, Tiger. Feels like he's been a champion as long as I've been seeing champion. I got to think this is a COVID year or something for AJ. We talked about that during the women's game. I, I think that's been used enough already. I think it's time to end the COVID stuff. Jason Garcia on the left wing. Mo Musa for three. Wilkins, more hustle from Dom Wilkins, who's up to seven points tonight. Damian Bowman to AJ, and Williams fouled on his way to the bucket. Free throws to come for champion.
have that as the 15th album. So that's what we'll go with. I thought it was the 6th, but... A little wet spot out on the court. Knights are going to end the regular season at Randall on February 22nd. And, of course, the Southwest Region Tournament coming up at the end of the month. Williams gets them both. It's a 16-point game. Champion, I believe their biggest lead was 18. They have been in control of this one. They scored the first 17 points in the game, I believe. And they get Mo Musa into a travel. So Knights really got to get into the locker room, regroup. Clark into the forecourt. Damian Bowman back to him. Clark will try it from way downtown and hit. Why not? That's the way it's been tonight for champion. Everything going their way. Garcia back out to Gooden from downtown. Clark. I mean, champion could hold for the final shot. Clark took it quick. Now Knights will have seven seconds. Actually, they're going to get fouled. Or did they say out of bounds? Yeah, Knights were out of bounds. No foul there. Similar call the other way earlier in the half. So don't mind it as long as the officials are consistent. It's a good call. Clark down low left it. And was it touched? Oh, now wait a minute. These officials got to get together. The official nearest us was signaling the other way. He briefly put his hand up. The official down low asked him for help initially. Eh, why not? A.J. Williams to beat the buzzer, and that'll do it for the opening 20 minutes. A first half the Knights would like to forget. As champion takes its biggest lead into the locker room, it's 49-30 at the half. We'll take the full 12 minute halftime break, come back and bring you all the second half action in just a little bit. Don't go too far.
All right, welcome back, everybody. As uh, we are, that's loud. As we're underway, or about to get underway here in the second half. Chris Shaman back here with you from the uh, home studio in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, champion up by 19, out shooting the Knights 60% to 29%. Knights just 9 of 31 from the field, 1 of 9 from 3. They're 11 out of 15 from the free throw line. Otherwise, this would be uh, even more out of reach. So we'll see some nice defense there at the start. Ephraim Viadex gets whistled for the foul, but, I mean, A for effort at least because there was none of that effort in the first half at the rim. So free throws to come for uh, Jamal Clark. Mo Musa leads the Knights with 13 points, most of that from the free throw line, 2 of 10 shooting, but 8 out of 10 from the charity stripe. Uh, Dom Wilkins, good first half. 7 points, 5 rebounds. Jason Garcia has 4. 2 apiece for Orlando Gooden, Alvin Kimunga, Ephraim Viadex. And that's scoring for the Knights as we're underway here in the second half. Quick home game, then two more on the road for the Knights, followed by a three-game homestand. They wrap up the regular season at Randall. That's how February is going to shake out for these Knights. Jason Garcia with the putback. And the Knights look at least a little more alert as we start the second half. Knights are minus 10 on the glass as well. Uh, A.J. Williams gets right to the... There's no rim protection right now. Lead is 19. Knights throw it away. Champion comes up empty. Up and down we go to start the second half. Kimunga to Garcia. Garcia fouled from behind by Bowman. So Jason Garcia will go to the free throw line. Champion... Racked up the fouls in the uh, first half. It's an otherwise perfect game tonight for the Tigers. Garcia with six points. 71% free throw shooter. Mentioned he had a season high 27 against Arlington on Tuesday, shot 11 of 19, also had eight boards and four steals. Knights, though, fell by 15. Garcia up to eight points here tonight. Going to need more from him and everybody if they're going to hope to come back. Knights did make a little mini run, cut it down to 10. A.J. Williams attacking. But for the most part, this has been wire to wire to this point for champion. They scored the first 17 points in the game. Kimunga, another offensive rebound. He's a good offensive rebounder, Kimunga. I mentioned at home the Knights average 13 offensive rebounds a game. Kimunga leads them with over three a game, I believe, at home. Now it's Orlando Gooden. Viadex got it over to Garcia. Gooden now. Musa. And it'll be a shot clock violation on the Knights, who I don't think were ever aware that it was running down. Williams has been attacking here at the start of the second half. Now it's Damian Bowman. He got cut off. Brooks had a red-hot start. And I think he got into foul trouble. So Brooks with the turnover there. Ball goes back to the Knights. So we'll be together three more times. If you're unable to get out to Keene, Texas and check out the Knights, you got three more chances, the 13th, 15th, and 20th. It's all Tuesday-Thursday games through the remainder of the regular season for the Knights. Next three weeks, wrapping things up here in this athletic year for Southwestern Adventist. Our
Hard foul there on good in the second on the Knights as Clark was attacking. Correction, that's Key Munga, or excuse me, Viadex. And another whistle, oh boy. It's gonna be this kind of second half. <laughs> So third team foul, second on Gooden. Down low it's Clark. It's got to be a jump ball, a tie up, a travel, something. But instead Clark gets it off. And answering right back the Knights. That was a Gooden. So Gooden's second field goal, he's got four. And it looks like we got a timeout. Three minutes into the second half. Champion's still in control. We'll step aside. Uh, most of you know that I've got the cat, and doubleheader's a little hard for her, so I'm letting her lay on my lap, but it's making producing this broadcast a little tricky. <laughs> That's what I was laughing about before the timeout, trying to reach over to my mixer. Okay, buddy. So, champion basketball leading 55-36. to 36. Chris Scheman back here with you. Turnaround by Hall. He's been hitting a couple of turnarounds tonight. Not that time, though. Viadex attacking. Viadex scoop and score. Ephraim Viadex with his second field goal. He's got four. Williams pull up. No. Tip for the rebound. Uh, Dom Wilkins back in the game, by the way. Here's Garcia. Swings it out. The three, no good. Well, Brooks had the rebound, and then Champion runs out of real, or excuse me, deflected by the Knights. I thought maybe Bowman touched it last, but they say it's off the Knights, so Champion basketball. Bowman using the elbow, Hall, and he's fouled from behind. And just like Champion did in the first half, Knight's starting to rack up the fouls quickly here in the second half. So Xavier Hall going to the free throw line for the Tigers. A rare cold shooting night for Southwestern Adventist here at home. Knights normally as a team, 41% shooting here in Keene, Texas. As a team on the year, they're 39%. But they're plus eight at home shooting the basketball. Tonight kind of putting a wrinkle in that. Jason Garcia is in double figures. Nice defense there right away by Garcia on the inbound forcing the turnover. Again, still a lot of time in this game. Lusa thought about the quick three instead. Attacks the reverse, yes. Mo Musa with 15 tonight. Champion now. It's Clark backing down, and an offensive foul called there on Clark. Well, we joined that play kind of late, but I didn't see a whole lot there. I'm 
Second team foul on the Tigers. Knights have four with 15-24 left to go in the contest. Good and let it roll. Lusa splits the defense. Bounce pass to Wilkins. Had it stripped. Garcia's there, though. Good and now to Mo. Mo attacks no. Malik Lorentz in the game with the rebound. Laurent picked up three fouls very quickly in that first half. Josh Walpole in the game. Laurent trouble with it. Got it back. Double teamed. Had it poked away. Musa to Garcia. Then Garcia had trouble with the pass. And it's going off the Knights out of bounds. Jason Garcia visibly frustrated there. I don't know if he was looking for a foul or saying he a champion touched it, but either way, he was not happy. Luckily, he didn't get teed up there. Williams, Lorentz, and now Clark. Clark, pull up, yes. And we got a timeout. 14.41 left to go in the game. We'll take a, a quick timeout as well. All right, welcome back, everybody. Chris Sheeman here with you. As champion leads by 16 points. 14.41 left to go. <laughs> the cat's got a hold of the microphone. <laughs> We're having fun at the home studio, Meepy and me. Mo Musa to the bucket. Good aggressive play there by Musa, who's up to 17 points. Mentioned he scored over 20 in all the games he has played so far for the Knights. 14-point game. This is about as close as uh, Southwestern Adventist has been able to get. Here's Damian Bowman for three. Every time Knights try to make a run, an answer by champion. Right back to 17. Orlando Good to Garcia. The runner in the lane is short. Rebound by Clark. A.J. Williams will try a triple. It went halfway down, came out. Garcia, Kimunga, now Musa back to Kimunga. I keep saying Kimunga, it's Viadex. Mo Musa going back to the free throw line. Mo had a, a busy first half from the charity stripe. Mo was 8 out of 10 from the free throw line. So 17 on the night. He's looking for two more via the stripe. And clanks the first one. What was the fourth foul on Malik Laurent? Malik Laurent's got two rebounds and four fouls. Josh Walpole bounce pass to Bullman. And Musa's up to 20 now on the night. So fourth game and fourth game with 20 points here at Southwestern Adventist. Josh Walpole, the swipe there by Musa, 15 foul on the Knights. What do you think about that foul, Meepy? Hmm? Hmm? You gotta be my color commentator if you're gonna sit on my lap in the second half. 
I swear she's the most talkative cat in the world until I put the microphone on her. Couple of subs for champion. We'll set the uh, five for the Tigers. After these uh, free throws for Walpoles, he gets one out of two. So A.J. Williams, Clark still out there. Laurent remains. Uh, Young is in for the first time. Slam dunk by Wilkins for the Knights as Dom Wilkins got nine points tonight. It's a 13-point game, closest the Knights have been here in the second half. Oh, they leave Malik Laurent back door was wide open. So a slam dunk for Laurent. Musa the ball fake, shoots the three, too strong. And Laurent pops Wilkins down low, and that's the night for Malik Laurent. Five fouls, two rebounds, two points for Malik Laurent. as Brooks comes back in. Fourteen fouls on champion and five on your Knights. Get the ball into Kimunga, had a shot block. Garcia stays with it. Extra chance opportunity for Southwestern at Venice. The flip shot no good by Garcia. Rebound by champion. Tigers by 15 as we go inside. 12 minutes to go in the ball game. Young open look for three, yes. 60% shooting in the first half. And Champion has not cooled off a bit here in the second. Good and out to Garcia, good and now to Musa. Mo attacks, throws it up too strong. Ball batted around, flying in the air. Young has it, and it's gonna be another foul on Musa. Sixth team foul on the Knights now. So Knights got to be real careful. Last thing you want to do down 18 is uh, put your opponent in the bonus. But that's what they're going to do right here. A.J. Williams attacks. And this will be a two-shot foul, but it'll be one and one going forward for champion. Viadex back in the game. That is the fourth foul on Mo Musa as well. So that's not good. Your leading scorer in foul trouble, Tyler Woldridge, has no choice. Got to keep him out there. This match is the biggest lead for champion tonight. Viadex throws it away. Here's Clark laying it up and in. So inside 11 minutes to go, and this one uh, looking bleak for the Knights here tonight. Viadex on the near side. Wilkins met at the rim by Brooks. A.J. Williams from the half circle, no. And then Williams with the foul out of frustration. Fifth foul on champion. Knights have already put the Tigers in the bonus. As uh, we got a wet spot out on the court.
Knights and uh, Tigers will rematch one week from today. It'll be at Champion in Arkansas. Before that, on Tuesday, the Knights will head down to Houston and take on College of Biblical Studies, that uh, first-year program down there in Houston, Texas. Kimonga lost the handle. Young lost his feet, uh, footwork there, but able to get rid of the ball to Williams. Williams strip but foul. More free throws to come. Knight's going to uh, bring in a fresh body. Uh, it's Josiah Hazelton in for the first time. As A.J. gets one out of two from the free throw stripe. Garcia into the forecourt. Kimunga bounce pass was kicked. Levi Rogers also coming in. Mo Musa will sit down. Remember, he's got uh, four fouls, I believe. Kimunga is also fouled out of the game. Jason Garcia. And a shot swatted by Brooks. That's his second block tonight. Clark will try it from deep. No good. Levi with the rebound. Viadex out to Garcia left wing. Hazelton set a screen. Then we got another kickball. Uh, Nigel Coleman also in. So it's Coleman, Levi Rogers, Viadex, Hazelton, and Rogers. I said Rogers. Who am I missing? I lost count. <laughs> oh, boy. Garcia will try it for three. Can't get it to go. Knights are off. The broadcaster's off. It's just that kind of night, I guess. A.J. Williams selling contact again, and he's going back to the free throw line. I'll tell you why I'm off. I've got a little bit of a issue here, so... While AJ is shooting those free throws, folks, I'm going to uh, pause my commentary, and I'll be back with you here uh, right after these free throws are done. All right, folks, I'm back with you. Sorry about that. I had a couple of wires getting tangled up, and it threatened to take down the entire operation. So I had to readjust everything, and it involved unplugging a little more than I thought it would. So anyways, back to live action here, 8.51 to go in the game. It's Knights basketball, and it's been all champion tonight. They started by scoring the first 17 points in the contest. and they have not looked back from them. Mo Musa back into the game, can't score on the hanging attempt. Alley-oop is a wild pass that comes out to Brooks and he buries a three. That is, in a nutshell, what it's been tonight for champion. 
even their mistakes end up working out. So 8.29 left to go in this one, and uh, we go to yet another timeout here. So we'll be back. Krishima back here with you. All champion here tonight. 8.29 left to go. Knights already have nine team fouls. It was the opposite in the first half. So Viadex out there. Hazelton, Garcia, Levi Rogers, Mo Musa. That's the five right now for your Knights. Layup good by uh, Hall, who's back in for champion. Garcia trying to dribble around two defenders. Looking for some help, and the Knights throwing it away. This is easily the worst performance of the year for the Knights. It's just been a bad, bad night. Mo Musa turns on the Jets. Off the turnover, yes, and the foul for Mo Musa. So his 20-point streak is alive. He's, in fact, up to 22 here tonight. Mo on the season, 74% free throw shooter. So we got more uh, what spots out on the court that we're contending with. And has us held up. Six team foul, by the way, on champion. So Knights will be in the one and one the rest of the way. Musa with 23 now on the night. Hall from downtown off the back iron, and ooh, a hard foul. Good to see Gooden get back up. Remember, he uh, was injured in Arlington on Tuesday, so. Good to see him back out there, but that was a wicked fall. So both teams in the bonus. This is a one and one, and it's no good off the front end. Pass tipped, recovered by Brooks. Back out Young for three, too strong. Good and pushing again. And it's last touched by Young. So, inside seven to go in this one, it'll stay Southwestern at Venice basketball. Garcia looking to get it in. Levi Rogers open. Missed it. Mentioned he had nine in the game at Arlington Tuesday. 
Garcia came from behind to poke it, but it stays with Champion. A.J. Williams gets a screen over Rodgers. He scores. Another timeout by Champion. So we're going to step aside again. Champion up 28. Can't take those timeouts with you, so they're, I guess they're using them. We'll be back. Six thirty six left to go. And it'll be Knights basketball. Chris Sheeman with you tonight. We got three more home games coming up on the thirteenth, fifteenth, and twentieth. That'll conclude our broadcast season. Viadex scoops it over to Garcia from downtown. Jason Garcia with 13 on the night. Coming off that big 27 point performance. AJ Williams, it goes off his kneecap. It's a steal. Gooden pushing. Gooden hesitates and it's swatted. He had Viadex, who was running a little bit behind him. I'm not sure if Gooden saw him or not, but that would have been the play there. Instead, it does stay Knights basketball. Viadex to inbound. And it throws it right to Young. Young doubled up in the front court now. And champion starter got to be running out of timeouts by this point. They burn another one. All right, we'll take another one. 550 left to go. That's me, Chris Sheeman, here with you in a 80-55 basketball game. Champion Christian and Southwestern at Venice. Tigers basketball. Videx almost with the steal. Ran out of real estate as we're back to action with 547 left to go in this one. The second half being really dragged out. A lot of whistles, a lot of timeouts. Oh, Garcia gets in the front of that pass. Again, running out of real estate, though. So Knight's back on the road for uh, two more next week. Again, it's all Tuesday and Thursday games. So every Tuesday and Thursday here in February, you're going to see fouls. Uh, you're going to see basketball for the Knights. What we saw there was an illegal screen. 
Eighth team foul on Champion, and another wet spot out there. We'll be with you again on the 13th. Arlington will be in town. Patriots won by 15 over the Knights at home on Tuesday. So we'll see them again in about 10 days. Then that following Thursday, Knights will host Dallas Christian. February 20th, the following Tuesday against the uh, College of Biblical Studies here in Keene. And then Knights will end the regular season at Randall up in Oklahoma. That'll be the uh, Thursday after that on February 22nd. And then we don't know. It's a possible uh, play-in situation again. Like last year, Knights hosted Randall in what was a quote-unquote first round Southwest region game. Garcia had it swatted. That is the third or fourth block by Noah Brooks here tonight. Rogers inbound to Gooden in the corner. Gooden left alone and buries the three. First bucket here in the second half for Orlando. He's got seven in the game. Clark going to work. Found Walpole. Brooks, the ball fake and the score. Nifty little play there by Noah Brooks. He's having a nice night. Gooden nearest us. Viadex out deep. Rogers comes to set a screen. Viadex splits two defenders and scores. Tough bucket, Ephraim Viadex. And a steal and a score again. So Viadex with four quick points. He's now got eight. Clark will back it up. Clock is your friend if you're champion. Brooks will try a three. Missed it back rim and... Got a foul on the floor. It looks like it's going against Champion. I want to check out this uh, play again as Walpole gets ready to shoot a couple. Let's see the throw in here. This is the part that I missed. Ah, we didn't get it. Uh, of course not. So Walpole off on the first one. Double bonus the rest of the way for Champion. So one out of two for Walpole. Knights today, Mo Musa with 23 so far. He's got the basketball. Levi Rogers back to Mo. Musa splits the defense and scores. Make it 25 in the game, averaging 23 in his first three games, Mo Musa. So back inside 20. Clark attacks, banks it. Gooden, that'll be a foul called on Clark. 19 foul on Champion. So still a one and one, but won't be the rest of the way. Gooden with seven points tonight, 69% free throw shooter at the line for uh, the final one and one of the game. Front end is good. Chance to get up to nine points. Orlando Gooden, 13.4 points per ball game, almost five rebounds, 2.6 assists per night as well for the freshman. Who hits them both. He'll come out of the game. Uh, Dylan Hopkins is in for champion. 
Damian Bowman as well. Usa Chuma out there for the first time tonight for Southwestern Adventist. A.J. Williams blocked but fouled. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a running clock. They do it in football sometimes. I haven't seen that much recently. I wonder if, uh, if like, the gamblers took care of that. Remember when, like, Florida State would play, like, Old Dominion and it'd be 81 zip in the fourth quarter? They'd just, you know, run the clock. I wonder if gambling has changed that because I haven't seen that in a few years. We don't have fan duels at this level, so we need to run a clock for these kinds of games because this is just – it's tough when you're losing these kinds of games too to be on the court and it's just dragging on in the second half. You've got timeouts and foul after foul. Lead back to 21 for the Tigers. Handoff to Jason Garcia, who pops a three. Front rimmed it. Williams takes it left side, gets a double screen. Now over to Bowman from downtown. Viadex pushing, Viadex to the rim. Too strong, AJ's got another rebound for champion Christian. And Williams will slow it up. Fire a logo shot, can't get it to go. Mo with a nice box out there. Viadex, the reverse, nope. Kimunga, yes. I thought he fouled out of the game, evidently not. I think I was looking at the wrong number. So Kimunga up to four. Chance for an old school three point play now for Alvin Kimunga, right at his season average. Four points, four rebounds a night. Money on the free throw. So the Knights will have to regroup next week again, Tuesdays and Thursdays for the entire month of February for the Knights. Get back on the road. We'll see what the rematch looks like in Arkansas against these two teams. This is a, a good Tigers team, but the Knights, this is a poor showing. Expect it to be a little bit closer as A.J. Williams tries to throw it down and they call a foul. They call a blocking foul on that. Come on, guys. How is that a blocking foul? Anyways, A.J. Williams at the line. I got to think this is his last year. Gets them both. Uh, Josiah Hazelton back in the game. A.J. Williams sits down for the Tigers. His day is done. So Chuma still in the game. Kimunga, Hazelton. Nice reverse there by Kimunga up to seven points now. And Jason Garcia still in the game and of course Mo is out there. Backcourt violation there as Hopkins went back to get it. All right, who else do we got for champion? It's Braylon Bowman in the game with his, I assume, brother Damian. Robert Kerrigan, Kerrigan wearing number three. Mo Buckets continuing on and Cade Wilson. So Musa up to 27 points tonight. Knights will fall to five and 10, four and six at home as Damian Bowman gets the bucket to go. Inside a minute to go in this one. 
Knights will go to four and six at home and one and four in the region as Mo Musa's now got 30. Braylon Bowman backing down on Garcia, gets it to the cutter, bucket no good, tip up no good, and we got another foul. So opportunity now for Dylan Hopkins to get into the book with 35 seconds left to go. So next time we see the Knights, about 10 days from today, it'll be the start of a three-game homestand to wrap up the home portion of the season. Noosa uh, getting right around everybody. This is time to pad the stats, I guess, for Mo Musa. Now, Tigers don't need the shoot here, so. This should wrap it up. 93 to 78 is gonna be your final from Keene, Texas. Champion Christian gets the victory here tonight. Knights again, five and 10, four and six at home, one and four in the region. We'll be with you again on February 13th for another doubleheader against Arlington Baptist. Again, 5 and 7 p.m. for that. Until then, folks, take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you again in about 10.